Hey guys, what's up, what's up? Uh, welcome to my podcast from A to Z with me, Anya Zova. And today I have a very special guest, a very good friend of mine, sister from another mister, Ksenia. Ta-da! Oh my God, thank you so much. Yay! Oh my God, yay, thank you so much for having me. I, no, my pleasure. And I'm so excited to have you. Well, we are friends, we are both comics, but you're also a singer, a really good singer and talented singer. So yeah, I'm very happy to have you here. Thank you so much. And actually, guys, we know the same person because people confuse us all the time. I did this show at the Temiluka town and a couple comes to me after the show and is like, oh my gosh, you did, did 20 minutes of new material. And I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> no, I didn't. But I try to be polite and I'm like, yeah, I throw some new jokes. I'm like, oh, and you dyed your hair. You used to be blonde. <laughs> <laughs> and then it hit and me. you changed your hair color. I mean, and you changed your eye color. Uh, eye color. And it got super, uh, well, I got bigger since that, right? It's like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, no, you're talking about Ksenia. It's like, no, no, you were here like two months ago. I'm like, no, I wasn't. <laughs> and then it happened to you, right? In New York, somebody came to you? Yeah. Uh, I think. Okay, Who? I forgot his name. He was like, you were just here, right? <laughs> you were at the color Carolines. I'm like, no, I wasn't. <laughs> Okay, guys, we know the same person. I mean, how is it like we're so different? We're so different, but we do drive the same car. Yeah, we like Jeep. We like Jeep, masculine and energy. We're American. Big dick energy. <laughs> uh, I, I, if I was a man, yeah, I would have a huge dick. You would. What car would you drive? Would you be a man? Jeep. Jeep. <laughs> 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 Me too. But you know, it's also funny. Like I think sometimes, okay, if I would want some like super rich. What kind of car I would drive? I still would drive Jeep. Yeah, would just drive better, better version of, of Jeep. Jeep. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm not gonna. Maybe I get like electric eventually. They create electric. Yeah, I, yeah. I would just do that. I'm they have gonna, electric. Yes, yeah, so they started yeah. doing it. Yeah, but it's more expensive. Insurance more expensive. More expensive. For that. Yeah. yeah. So once we have, so we're very water. rich very soon, and we are driving Jeeps. Jeeps for sure. But I feel like it's such an American car because it, it's like an American dream. I think so. Like growing up in Russia, I always thought about America. Like things are big there, right? Big houses, huge roads, big cars. So I think it's like part of my mentality. Like I made it. Yes, <laughs> yes. We fucking made it. <laughs> we made it to America. We made it. Well, in my podcast, it's from A to Z, my first last name. But I also want to ask people like, how did you make it from A to the point in your life? Like in, if we talk about your career and you look at it, A, where you started, Z, where you want to be, where are you right now? Okay, so we need to look at the whole alphabet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I just know A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Same. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I know. No, I know the whole thing, I think. There, used, there was a song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That's that, it. That's it. You got it. Bravo. I think I'm, but I'm, think I'm somewhere in the middle. In the middle? Yeah. I mean, I've done a lot of work on myself. And released m m a lot of music and content, and but I'm still it's still so much work to do, so much more. But I think the big thing for me now is my mindset, because it's you guys might think it's bullshit, but um, I believe that what you actually believe is what you become, and yes. the universe around you becomes so whatever you believe but purely not like okay today i'm gonna believe this no you have to like genuinely believe in your core like what do you believe in what's your in, core in your core what, what's your belief yeah that's the that's the struggle i have deserving things because mm. of the way i was raised in russia mm -hmm. like i was constantly told that i wasn't anything good like that yeah. i wasn't shit. same here yeah like <laughs> How do you, and then recently I talked to my mom and she's like, you, you know, like you have to tell yourself every day, you're the best, you're the best, you're the most beautiful, you're the most talented. I was like, I was like, mom, it's kind of late, don't you think? It's late, yeah. Oh, now, to oh, now I'm the best? What happened to you 30 years ago? Where, where it, were you? Oh yeah, exactly. What the hell? Like, what was she thinking when she just constantly was humiliating me? Like. And then you, you grow up and you don't really think you deserve things. You kind of have an idea that you deserve things. But I think just because I was pretty, like, abused growing up mm -hmm. emotionally, not physically, thank yeah. God. It's like 
my dreams are so big, you know? Imagine growing up in Nahotka. Like, yeah. where are you from? Varonish. Oh, my God. Well, it's almost the same <laughs> as Nahotka. It's almost the same. Yeah. <laughs> well, Varonish is a bit warmer, but co- concept is the same. Yeah, like, how far is it? How far away is it from Moscow? Um, It's a night on train. Okay. So it's quite far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Nahotka is even further away. But I feel like the way we were raised... Constantly abused mentally. And not necessarily by my parents. My parents never told me, like, oh, you're beautiful, you're talented. Like, it's not... They never told, called me stupid either, but it's like, oh, whatever. you just, you know, just person. Okay. And anytime, I, like, my mom would make comments, <laughs> like, oh, you look so good when you're skinnier. Like, she always make me... <laughs> like, I'm like, okay. Nice, mom. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. But also, I remember I was doing gymnastics, and I was actually a skinny kid. Yeah. And my coach, she would call me a cow. And it was, like, normal. Like, I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind to complain to my parents that they called me cow. I was just like, don't eat. You know, I'm like, oh, she calls me cow. I need to stop eating. Like, I ne- it never came across my mind that it's wrong. Yeah, of course, because we don't, they, they give, give us these ideas that are not realistic. I mean, I mean, they're realistic to them, but we don't know what's true. We don't know what's the truth. If, yeah. if this woman's because I actually was just driving and I was thinking I'm but sorry this yeah, is weird don't. I have like weird flashbacks mm-hmm. so when I was in first grade and I was a good good student like I would always get A's and whenever I get B or C this this woman would be like you stupid like, like oh my god look at you, you made a mistake talking to me like this yes, yeah. and then there is a girl who always gets C's she's like oh sweetie pie you made another mistake but and why like, do you think of that I'm like, why do you treat me like yeah. shit? And this woman who gets C's all the time, oh, she's not, like nice. Why do you think? I don't know. Like you, you were prettier than her. Not even. It's not about looks. It's I don't know. It's about I don't know. You raising somebody like harsher, or what? Why? I don't understand why. Yeah. Why? Why is it happening? And then and then I was thinking also like, like right now if I talk to that woman, I would have a judgment of what kind of person she is. Yeah. But as children, we don't even know like. I thought my mom always right. My yeah. dad always right. These teachers, are, they all know, they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I always assume everyone knows what they're doing, but now you think back how you were raised and things you were told. Mm-hmm. Like, are you, are you stupid you fucking bitch? Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Abusing yeah. a child? You fucking cow. Yeah, and you're I'm stupid. Sorry. And you're stupid. You made a mistake. But I, I feel like... Worked up. I know, but I do feel like <laughs> us being growing up over there... And now when people tell me, oh, it's so hard in Hollywood, it's so hard to make it. Yeah, I'm still in the process of making it, but it doesn't seem as hard, you know? <laughs> Growing I mean? up in <laughs> Russia. Yeah. I'm like, this is not hard. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of rejections, but I dealt with so many rejections from my entire life. So this is like, and when people I see like Americans crying, oh my gosh, this person's so mean to me. And I'm like, so what? <laughs> Just shake it off, you know? Yeah. I feel like we have a sicker skin. Of course, we're still sensitive. We're vulnerable. We get... You know, like, it gets to us as well. But I feel like because we were able to move here without... Well, I want to ask you, like, without nothing, probably, right? You you come here with... Yeah, with a, one little luggage. Yeah, exactly. How much money did you have on your bank account when it came? Uh, I had, like, a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. I had eight, 800 bucks. Yeah. The same. And you you figure it out. I mean, it took a while, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it took a while, but you did, you know? You, you, I know, you, but I was... I was so motivated i was like there is no way back but what's what drives you like why you don't want to go back to russia is it what drives you or something else well i always had this idea of like making it an entertainment like i thought it was going to be like a britney spears Pierce. i yeah. can see that i yeah. can see the britney wife when i saw like this song oops i did it again went like crazy i i, I remember reading it in magazine i was like I was like, wow, this is amazing. I was like, man, maybe. Wow. I was like, I want this too. But I'm like, how? It's impossible. Yeah. And my mom was like, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> but you still believed in yourself. I, I mean, I had the, I had an idea that I could, but not, It. I mean, I. I it's, it's not the belief. It's like, it's like there. <laughs> it's there. It's like, okay, I, I want to go there. But you took a risk. Yeah, I mean, 100%. Huge, huge risk. Yeah. But how did, like, you moved to the States, you were singing back in Russia, right? Yeah. So you moved to the States. How did you find your first producer? How did things that happen to you? This is such such fun questions. Okay, well, I 
So the the problem with my uh, from the beginning, yeah. like when I was in Russia in Nahotka, in my in my home, in my apartment, it was I always felt harassed, sort of like there is no they don't know what boundaries are, mm-hmm. and I always felt like I like freedom. I nobody can tell me what to do, mm-hmm. but it's because I'm a Sagittarius, and yeah. I always was like I was pretty much doing all I wanted because mm-hmm. I started making money since I was like 15. I yeah. started. Working as a clown. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like I cannot imagine but, you as a clown. But I was, I, I was like the my clown's name was Cherry, so I was dressed <laughs> as, a, as a clown with my partner, and he was uh, like a, a another. Did you work in a circus? No, no. But it was like children's it's children's parties. parties. Yes, yeah, okay. so I would show up with mm-hmm. with him. We, we mm-hmm. would organize like a yeah. birthday party, and then if it's not a it calls it in turn, uh, how do you call it, like a businesswoman? <laughs> You're like a businesswoman. Inter- you created inter- a business. Entertainer, yeah. Entertainer, yeah. But I was working for a company. So mm-hmm. sometimes it would be like a, like a clown. Sometimes mm-hmm. it would be like the witch, witch, which which that character didn't really, I didn't really do a good job. No, like you have okay. to be like, yeah. I'm like, I'm not a mean. Like I'm, Yeah, you I'm, like to be a clown. I'm more of a, like a sweet clown. Oh my gosh, I want to see I'm a clown costume clown. as a nose. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And then, so I started making more money than my parents did. Because yeah. I was constantly making all this mm-hmm. cash, and I, but because I never had anything, so I would start buying myself clothes mm-hmm. and, and like try to save up money. And then yeah. because I'm traumatized, because my my dad always eavesdropped me when I was talking on the phone. Mm-hmm. They always had their nose in my business. They oh, always, so I felt like my fucking walls had ears uh, everywhere. Ears, yeah. I can't say anything. So I was like, as soon as I was done with high school, I was like, I'm out of uh, here. I'm out. I'm done. So then I moved to Vladivostok. Okay, which is very far away from Moscow. It's almost China, right? Yes, that's where mm-hmm. I'm. Yeah, I'm from the the end of Russia. I don't know that. <laughs> then I moved to Vladivostok, and then I studied there. But I studied advertising, and I studied for free because I was mm-hmm. singing in the university. Okay, they so have this like kind of contract. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and while and then also I was working at mm-hmm. the restaurant, making money because mm-hmm. I wanted to move to Saint Petersburg. Oh, okay, so then I made enough money, and I took my documents and moved to St. Petersburg. But wow. it, in that summer when I was transferring, I tried to go to Moscow mm-hmm. to apl- like to audition for the theater. Okay. Uh, the theater school? Like university? Yes, yes. Which uh, one? Gidius? Gidius and Mahat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, everywhere. It's, wow. It's no everywhere. And look at her now. I okay. know. <laughs> I want all the people and Gidius and Mahat. Just look at Ksenia now. <laughs> and she is, okay, she was on billboard as a Times square okay <laughs> all the people teachers whoever make a decision and get us in hot i'm gonna dick you should eat a dick right now yes because please this is, this suck is like a, a dick please uh, yeah this is like <laughs> fuck you people uh, i made okay. it thank you i mean this is a good feeling right it is a good <laughs> feeling i i mean i guess and then at the same time what's not meant to be it's not meant to be because yeah. something's better in store exactly like clearly it's always worth yeah sometimes no says a bigger opportunity it's a redirection yeah. so then i'm i i was like okay the university said no so mm-hmm. I, i'm gonna continue Junior. with mm-hmm. my education so and i started advertising in so moscow I, in st petersburg so i in vladivostok mm-hmm. for two years yeah. so then took my documents and moved to C, to st petersburg. petersburg and i started from like already third third uh, course year. Yeah, yeah yeah mm-hmm. and i had to study extra curriculum because things that we didn't study in Vladivostok mm-hmm. and they said I have to like pass all these exams yeah. like 15 subjects oh my gosh <gasps> something that you don't like I mean it's advertisement right it's and you create a first and it's not something but it was a lot of like economy bullshit yeah. which I like math is like C like I'm like, yeah, I hate math. it too yeah. I hate I hate math yeah. um and I found a singing job there right away too. So nice. I was making money and mm-hmm. I was living in dormitory mm-hmm. and I was going to university and I was still continuing singing and I was like, okay. And then I'm like, okay, so what's next? <laughs> <laughs> what's the next goal? What's the next so goal? But have, have you always wanted to move to the States? Yeah. Or and then goal? I found, and then I, since I moved to this university in St. Petersburg, my classmate, I mean, university mate, what is it? Classmate, classmate, yeah. I, guess. I guess. Oh, yeah, it's still a classmate. Sophie, and we became such close friends, and she had America dreams too. Mm. So you found and a it's partner in crime. You know, I know. So it's like, oh, she's like, let's go to America for work and travel. 
after the fourth year in university. I was like, I mean, I don't know. I'm a patriot. <laughs> yeah, work and travel, if you guys don't know, it's thing when students from Russia and Eastern European countries, they allowed you to come to the States for summer during the break for like two, three months, and they get job like uh, in Starbucks, McDonald's, wherever, and then they come back to Russia. So that's a, it, like, this is a visa. Yeah. Cheap labor for you guys. Cheap labor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because oh. Americans don't work. Only Mexicans and Russians do. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So, and then it was funny how, and I had a boyfriend at the time, and his sister lived in um, in Boston. Mm -hmm. And I knew her. She married an American guy, and they lived in Boston. And he was like, why don't you go for the summer? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. That, guy, that guy, whoever you are. Yeah, thank he was you. like, why don't you go and spend the summer in America? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then somehow, and Sophie was like, yeah, let's go. And I was like, okay, let's go. So you we went. came to America. To Boston. To New York. To New York. <laughs> what was your first impression of America? Oh, it's just everything's so big and, and smelly. And I was like, New York. Mm, I, I wasn't really feeling it. And especially if you don't know English, I couldn't really talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. I had, I was shocked. I was just yeah. like, brain. I was like, how do I? I was thinking, how am I going to ever able to learn English, speak English, thinking it, speaking yeah. it, writing it. And it was just a lot. It was a lot because in Russia, English was really bad. Yeah, I never, I mean, I studied in university, but you can speak. Like, you just can read maybe and write a little bit, but that's it, yeah. Yeah, so it was really... But were you satisfied, disappointed, or like, what was your first impression of New York? I was like, well, this is, I need to figure this out. Yeah. It was kind of like a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really a lot. But that was first summer. Mm -hmm. And um, we had a great time. Um... And we did decide, because did you know that if you come from, because in, in Russia, they, they don't give you visa if they think you have immigration intentions. Yeah, if you want to stay in this, yeah. For Russians, really, people think it's so easy to come to this country. It's not, especially for Russians, Eastern Europeans. We have to prove American government that we have enough ties in our home country yeah. to come back. So we need to prove that, the guys, we do need America. Yeah. We are good in Russia. We have family in Russia. We have money. Yeah, we yeah, have like apartment. Apartment, cars, cars. Like Yeah, we don't want to stay. So we have to prove them. They're like, hey, no, 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 we don't want to stay. But so, we do want to, but we have to prove we don't want to stay. But yeah. so most likely after the, by the time I finish university, mm -hmm. they're not going to get visa. Yeah. So I was kind of, so I went for the summer to see what's up. And then we had a great time. And. I went, we decided to go to Vegas, uh, San Diego, mm -hmm. and Los Angeles just to check it out with Sophie. That was crazy adventure. That was crazy. When we were on the plane to Vegas, we already met some guys. And we had a guy who was going to meet us who's a fr family friend. And he's a professional poker player. It was just, it was crazy adventure. And you see, like... American woman would think, oh my gosh, this guy's going to kill me. Yeah. And the Russian woman thinks, oh, this is adventure. <laughs> <laughs> this is the main difference. Was, uh, yeah. And then he, I remember his name was Jeff. He met us. Uh, Random I, person. I mean, he's a f friend mm -hmm. of, of a family. Friend. Of okay. a family. A family. family okay. friend. Okay. And he's a poker player. And he's American. Mm -hmm. So he was assigned to, sh to show us a good time. <laughs> I'm but, sure he didn't mind. But at he all. was like, I'm running late. And we 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 were riding a Lima to the wind with these oh. guys we met at the on the plane. <laughs> and 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 I was kind of scared. I'm telling Sophie, like, do you think it's it's like she's like, Yeah, it's okay. They seem nice. And I'm like, okay, well, and I'm texting our friend, like, when are you gonna get us? Because I don't know if we're gonna get murdered or what. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it did cross your I mind. I mean, it did, but it, it was very broken English. Please mm, come okay. get us, please, <laughs> please. We are here with some strangers <laughs> in the, in the hotel, in the limo. in the hotel now. And I remember I was holding passports. I was oh. like, oh my gosh, you were like, yeah, this is all I have. Yeah, the passport. Yeah, but I mean, I don't. I I know that. I believe that Americans that are very they low law abiding citizens. They would never harm another. Yeah, and unless they're crazy. Unless they're really crazy. crazy yeah. yeah, I don't. I think I'm, I love actually. I love American people. Yeah, like, me too. They're nice. I I, yeah. I love. <laughs> I feel like we're so similar. We just speak 
different, different language. language. But yeah. we are very similar. Even feelings wise, advice wise, like I think so, yeah. But I feel like Americans also who Americans are, they're all basically immigrants eventually, yeah. right? So yeah. they do have in their DNA the same stuff we have. So yeah, similar. most of them are Russians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Russian Ukrainians. Are yeah, you Ukrainian too? Yeah, my mom is Ukrainian. And dad is Russian. Russian. Mm -hmm. And you're the opposite, right? Well, it's in my joke setup, but yeah. it's both of my grandpas are Ukrainian. Okay. Yes. And so my dad is Ukraine. So I, my both of my mom and dad have Ukrainian last name. Last name, yeah. And I'm clearly uh, half Ukrainian and half yeah, I'm Russian. Half. My mom is Ukrainian and Ukrainian. Yeah. But I, when I grew up in Russia, like I never like I don't know about you, but I always said I'm Russian because I live in Russia, right? Yeah. It never crossed my mind to explain to people, hey, I'm this and that, and now we have to all explain, you know? Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so you stayed in America after Vegas trip? No, 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 no. no. Then I went to, we went to see our friend that we met in New York, in, in Los Angeles. He's like, oh, come stay with me. Don't worry. I'm a, like, a, he's a film student. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we stayed with him. And then after two days, he was like, so girls, are you going to, you know, pay me or do you want to have sex? <laughs> oh, shit. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> none, what none, have... none of those options. Yeah. So, and we were... We, we spent the day in the Universal Studios with Sophie and we were so tired and we lay like this on the couch and he comes out, he's drinking. He's like, so girls, are you going to have sex with me or are you going to pay me to stay with me? And we, we're looking at each other like, girls, just let us go. We just left. <laughs> we got up, got our bags, we're so tired, got outside, our phones are dying. We're like, I don't know, like I'm trying to see like, What's the building number? They don't have building numbers here, like like yes, in, Russia. in Russia. You know, the, yeah. Russia would have like a street and, and number. A number, yeah. Here there is number, but their street is at the intersection. I guess. Yeah, you have to walk there to see. The so room. I'm like, where the fuck are we? Mm -hmm. And we're we're kind of like, I guess we have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. I wasn't really like scary. It was just most like annoyed. Yeah, like what are we gonna do now? Mm -hmm. I guess we have some cash, mm -hmm. but so mm -hmm. guess what? My music producer walks by with his dog. What? <laughs> yes. The one that I work with now. It's crazy. I know. Oh, I have chills right yeah, now. Yeah, he was walking on the fucking street with uh, his uh, friend and his girlfriend at the time mm -hmm. and the dog. So, and he was like, girls, are you okay? We're like, this guy want to fuck us. <laughs> and we escape. We need shelter. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay, so... um." And we were kind of scared, so Sophie and I were like, I don't know, the strangers seem nice, but... Yeah, and still, still a stranger. Yeah, so we got into their car, they put our bags in a trunk, we were like holding each other's hands like this in the, trunk, <laughs> in the back seat. <laughs> and they took us to his to their studio at first. We were in the studio listening and to And you find songs. out that he is a producer. Yeah, he's like, oh, here's a song, there's a song. I was like, oh, wow, and it sounded great, it sounded yeah. pretty good. I was like, oh, wow. It's like and a then hell of a dream. I know. And then they <laughs> and then they um moved, they drove us to the hotel. You know the hotels like um like outside hotel. Like yeah, motel. Like motel. The motel, motel yeah. yeah. I watched the movies mm -hmm. uh, and Sophie and I we spent the summer sleeping in the same bed. Yeah. And there's finally two beds. Oh, and, you're and, like the hippest person on the <laughs> earth. No, she was like, Okay, you sleep there. I'm like, no, I don't want to sleep. Oh, you didn't wanna... No, I wanna can we sleep together? She's like, No, go get in your bed. <laughs> And I got into my bed, but I had this vision in my mind that somebody comes in in a motel, like, uh, opens pushes the door, the door, door. and shoots everybody. <laughs> you watch too many American movies. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I was all night waiting until somebody's going to come in. Uh, come in, yeah. Nobody came. And the next day we spent together in Malibu with this with the whole crew. Yeah. And then they, um, they pretty much sent us off to San Diego. And we took a bus to San Diego. And after that, we traveled back to New York and back to Russia. And that's when I was like, I'm depressed. You want to go back. <laughs> I want <Yeah>. somebody to <laughs> back. But I had to graduate. Yeah. My degree. Mm -hmm. And I did. Good. And then what? Guess what? My Sophie got visa and left and I didn't. Wow. Cried, cried, cried. I was like, how is it, how is it possible that it's not meant for me? Yeah. How is it It's possible? heartbreaking. Yeah. So what, you wait another year? No. What did you do? You got <laughs> married? <laughs> no. Um, 
Are you guys listening? No, I just I, I, I try to get I try to play the music again, but from my hometown because there are not so many people who actually wants to go to America from my hometown. Really, so like Bec- we, we're happy here. We don't want to go anywhere. So that's and you got it. You got the music. Yeah. Yeah. And you came to LA. To New York. To New York, and you work with the same producer. He was an, from LA. LA. I I didn't reconnect with him up till like three years in. Wow. Yeah. But Why? we were always Facebook friends. Mm. But you know, it took me some time to learn English. Yeah. It took me some time to just to be I was so embarrassed to speak at the beginning because yeah, because when you have an accent, I, I assume that you sound uneducated. I like have the I, same feeling, yeah. I always whenever I talk to somebody and I I didn't really structured my sentences very well I and, and I have an accent I thought people assume that I'm not educated mm-hmm. while I think I'm pretty fucking smart <laughs> yeah you are yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you so but it's also yeah I remember when I was trying to speak English like I felt like I'm a dog like I understand everything mm-hmm. but I was so shy to speak I'm like oh my gosh I understand everything what's ga- ha- happening what people saying but I just feel like a dog like I don't want to I don't want to say anything and embarrass myself. Yeah. And it's just like, I would rather not to talk at all. And at the beginning, people thought like I'm a bitch. Like, you know, they were like, I remember like I was wrestling in, in WWE and the guys, like after a half year of knowing me, when I became more comfortable and started speaking in English, like, oh, Anya, you're so nice, actually. I'm like, yes, of course I'm nice. What do you mean? They're like, no, we saw they're such a bitch because you never talked to anybody, anyone of us. <laughs> I'm like, because I was shy. I didn't want to embarrass myself saying something wrong or like- I no, couldn't speak English, leave me the fuck alone. alone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now I can speak and now, yeah, I can express myself. But when was the turning point when you, like you successful singer, uh-huh. right? Oh. Mm-hmm. So when was the point where like, I want to do comedy as well as singing? Okay, so part of my childhood was, I don't know if you know uh, Kavayan? Club of Funny Kavayan, People. Yeah, we have uh, this program in Russian national television. It's yeah. first channel. It's like a comedy show, but it's not a stand-up. It's yeah. like uh, improv, right? It's a sketch. No, no, you have to prepare. You, you have, have to prepare, to, but ha- no, but you know, like improv theater, they pre- oh no, the improv is not prepared. Like, like it's a sketches. The people, yeah. group of people, come together and they do sketches together and they compete. Yes. So they have winners. So you did that in in your home. I did it. I did it in my high in a high school. In high school. I was okay. like in in a t- we had a pretty like good team Mm -hmm. and and it was like i feel like that that club of funny people it was it's like tiktok you have to sing you have to dance you have to be funny and Mm -hmm. you have to do scripted content and you look pretty and you Mm -hmm. like i mean they didn't care about that but um but yeah so so that's why i love tiktok so i did it all childhood but it (laughs) it was called differently Uh we had it before americans got tiktok (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I w- I did that a lot actually mm-hmm. in uh, in high school, and then so I was always kind of funny. You always had it in you, and I always was mm. always class clown. Mm. Always, it's just I was always like the one who's like, you know, life of the party. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, now I'm like less of I'm not even I'm a death of the party right now. <laughs> She's like I'm old. Everything hurts. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm just I'm kind of like. I have to bring the child back. I'm a little cynic, cynical lately. But I, th- I don't think of that. Like somebody asked me yesterday, actually. I feel like we partied. We started partying so young. I don't know about you, but like when I was at the nightclub since I was 14, 13, drinking and smoking. So yeah. like by the age of 20, you're like, I've done it all. <laughs> like <laughs> it's not fun anymore. And Americans, they just start having fun at 21 because they can legally yeah, drink. Yeah. Oh my God. So for them, like they're 21. It was me like at 14. I'm like... Honey, yeah. my grandma used to make wine and grandpa. And <laughs> so my grandma called wine. Just wine, wine from like plums wine. Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, it's like compote. Compote, you know? it's like, like, it's a, like juice. Yeah, she's it's like, like a, it's just delicious juice. Kombucha. Now like they call kombucha. A little brewed juice. <laughs> yeah. We all were fucked up <laughs> since we were 14. 14 all of yeah. my friends, I'll be like, grandma, do you have some special juice? juice? She's like, of course, you for you and your girlfriends. <laughs> We, I'm telling you, I, 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 you I was getting fucked up of a few sips and all of yeah. my friends too. Yeah, and we would have strong. like um, high school parties, parties like yeah. a discoteca. Discoteca, yeah. Yeah. 
So we would all get fucked up. Yeah, so like that was age now, like we were like 14, 15, 16, mm-hmm. I was drinking. Yeah, the same. I was me. drinking vodka, honey, mm-hmm. with with clone friends. We call it clowning, the whole crew. Yeah. Get together, drink vodka. 15, 16, 17. Terrible. It's the same with me. After school, there was a fun. So what do you do after school? You go and you buy beer or yeah. like they had like those like in those cans. They have like cocktails with vodka yeah, and atvertka, juice. Yeah, atvertka, atvertka. Atvertka, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was my childhood. Atvertka, you know? same. And then you walk home sm- smelling like cigar, c- cigarettes and vodka and you walk home at night by yourself, you know. It was dangerous too. Like, I don't know. Well, I'm sure Nakhodka is the same. Everybody drinks, everybody... Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. It's, it's one big street, and it's like you all... All know each other, probably, yeah. Now, you, it's not allowed... You're not allowed to drink outside. Everybody in law. Russia, I didn't know that. New law. New law, you yeah. can't drink? No. It's not the same. I know. <laughs> I know, we used to be able to drink. Drink, yeah, and smoke, and people do everything. Yeah. But, you know, it's like... I, I always felt like I couldn't be myself with my parents. Mm-hmm. It's like always... My mom told me, don't sing. You you're, you should sing in a choir. Your voice is annoying. Really? Mm-hmm. I I always wanted... It's so funny how I had like a real big head and small body. <laughs> chupa <up>. chups, <laughs> chupa chups. <laughs> but I, I, I knew, my body now uh, is uh, proportionate with my head. But growing up, I swear to God, I had a big head. <laughs> it, it grew like this already, but the body was, was small. So small, yeah. Like an alien. <laughs> and honey, I was... I, I felt ugly, but there was all these beauty competitions. Miss Nahotka, <laughs> I participated. Miss Winter of Nahotka. Miss you won it? I keep winning them. Oh, my God. But you because, see, Mom? But, Mom but, was wrong. <laughs> it's, also, it's also, you know what the lady told me what? on the jury? Yeah. Fucking mean bitch. She was like, you know, because I would always be very creative. There is like a first competition is visit card. Mm. You know, like... It's called visit card. It's like you introduce yourself, but you know how I introduce myself. I introduce myself with a song with five dancers. You know, ah. we like, and they're like, we can't really. Yep. Re- so she's like, beauty standards, no, but you, we can't compete with your presentation. Yeah, with your presentation, I was like, what do you mean, beauty, beauty standards? standards? No, <laughs> it's too- a beauty co- co- competition. <laughs> beauty co- but tell me, what was your first song? Do you remember the song that got you in? Uh, to, into beauty competition. Yeah. I, I I changed Moulin Rouge song. Wow. Uh, the, you know, the, hey, sister, go, sister, so, sister. But I, I made it like, um, in, but it's in Russian. The whole mm. melody would be just Russian lyrics. Oh, nice. So you translated it. I, I just create, I just wrote a Russian in tradition, like, in tra- like, I don't know what was it. I was going to say, Ksusha is a road. Oh, that's so cool. It says, oh, what can I tell you? My name is Ksusha. That's yeah, so yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I had... Five of my girlfriends, we were doing like, I'm singing and dancing. dancing. And then everyone was like, nobody, da- no, no, nobody did that. Yeah. Because I was always trying to have a creative approach, approach to everything. Yeah. And then there was like a costume competition and they said space theme. Guess what? I, I dressed as a rocket. <laughs> Sexy rocket so like, just rocket. And then they showed me. <laughs> hold on, my friend. Damn, so I want my, those pictures. My, I, I know. Oh my god. So I had all these pictures, <laughs> and I had a boyfriend. And when I left to him, mm-hmm. and I moved to America, mm-hmm. he burned everything. <gasps> he got rid of all of my childhood oh. memories. So fucking when asshole, fucking asshole. But when I was a rocket, <laughs> I was a. Ro- you still a rocket? <laughs> honey, honey, but I was like a. I, I, we made like. This, and my face was in a thing. Oh my god. And it says Eustace the Star. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> and I had this little red little kakata valane taki. Mama sashtorki. Mama sashtorki Oh, from the curtains. My Fluffy. mom made like this from because yeah. And so she did support you a little bit. A little bit. A bit because yeah. when she it's like since when we commit, she didn't want me to fall flat on yeah. my face. She didn't so. want to embarrass herself, so that's why I like, okay, let yeah, me help yes. you. <laughs> So they showed me on TV. They oh. were like, but it's like local Nahotka oh, TV. They're like, this one girl dressed like a rocket. <laughs> and they show me and they say, I'm ready, I'm ready, like Titov and Gagarin. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys don't know Titov and Gagarin's two guys that went to space and they're from USSR and Gagarin <laughs> is the first person to be out on space. 
Right? If I'm not mistaken, yes. So she's like, go, Chito, <laughs> Gagarin. <laughs> so she said, I'm ready, I'm ready. Like Gagarin and Chito. Yes. <laughs> And then my friend, and then my future boyfriend at that mm. time, he's, he was said he was eating food. And then they show me on the TV. And he started rolling on the floor laughing because oh it was a rocket. You were a rocket. That's so funny. But then, so How old were you back then? But I started, honey, I started doing this beauty competition since I was 12, 13, wow. 14, Teen, 15, 15, every year. Every year. It was just like, because, not giving up. You're like, because good. my head was big, <laughs> body was small, nobody liked me. They called me big head. They called me, then my my butt started growing big. So it was the big head, big butt. They called me big butt. So I had to overcompensate yeah. by participating in beauty competitions. Yeah. And it I was like, my worth is in my talents. Yeah. And you went for it. Like, I'm gonna prove you all wrong. Yes. So and uh, <clears throat> that was, I guess that made me feel better. But my my mom was at first, and especially the singing competition mm -hmm. of Nahotka. Like yes. they, I was so the first time I sang and I wrote the song. It's called My Love. Mm, it was just really vulnerable. very cheesy, cheesy, very vulnerable. And and I sang it. And my dad said, "You kind of me would be like, like you're just like not good." It was oh like, my gosh, he said it. I know. Oh, like that's... usually his parents like, but they're like I guess brutally honest parents. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't good. It wasn't good. But but it's only like Eastern European parents. Oh maybe I don't know. Maybe, but Americans don't do it. Americans like, oh my gosh, you're so talented. Even the child is not talented, but still would say like, you're great. And but that. does it raise does it raise delusional children? It does. But is it good to be delusional? No. I'm. I kind of. I know we had a tough upbringing, but I, I would never change it for anything. Like I know it was hard, but at the same time I feel like it made me who I am now. Like now, if somebody tells me, producer tells me, "Oh, you're never gonna make it," I'm gonna be like, "Fuck you, watch me." You know? Yeah. It's like now I don't think anything can get in my head. It's like really hard to put me down. I'm like, well, we'll see. Mm. I know it's hard, and I'm sure it causes us a lot of issues, right? So yeah. therapy and healing, but at the same time, it made us who we are. It made us stronger. I definitely like who I am and who I've become. However, I want to have this self, strong feeling of self-worth and self-deserving yeah. because I'm a perfectionist and whenever something is wrong with me or with something I'm doing, I cancel the whole thing. You know, you're like, it's, you're like, you're not committing to it. You just, I'm like extreme or like, for example, I look at my videos and from the past, I see that my makeup wasn't good or I would just want to fucking delete the whole thing. Like fuck everything. Like I'm, I failed. Like it's, it's like I worked so hard. I put mm -hmm. in work and nothing is perfect. I'm constantly yeah. improving. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, I just like recently when I'm going a little crazy, I'm like, I'm going to delete everything and start fresh. Cause I already failed. I failed that mission. Like, let me start again. But that's crazy talk. Yeah. It's like, it's your mind, monkey mind. Because you're great. I mean, look at her. So like, sweet. I love that song. The song you did the first time at the dime, Hollywood. Yeah, ready for Hollywood. Ready for Hollywood, guys. I, th I think I have a video. I should like when we post it, I'll post a video. It was such a magical night. So Ksenia, so dime is a bar in Fairfax in Hollywood. Small bar runs by Adam Hunter. Gives all the comics a chance. Chance, but it's more like an open mic, right? So people try new material. Mm -hmm. So Ksenia goes on and she sings a song. And all the comics just like so shocked and speechless. They're just like starting like the vibe was so high. I was like, holy shit. It just was like magical. And I think everybody could relate to this song, you know, because yeah. like we all had those experiences or similar. Can you sing a little bit? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Not a... Ever since I was a little girl, Hollywood was calling my name. Promises all those warm sunny days and all of the fortune and fame. I saw be watch on a TV and I listened to Britney Spears. Then I saw her shaving her head and thought that could be me in a couple of years. <laughs> then my mom said my head was too big and my dad said that I was no good. <laughs> and no matter how hard I tried, I'd never make it to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch me, <laughs> mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you so. <clears throat> Not a singing. Uh, well, a 
que. It's beautiful. It's no, so it was sweet. such a magical moment. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to work with this girl on every show. <laughs> I oh. want her to sing this on every show. It just was magical, you know? And it's like brought all the comics together. You know, like sometimes comics chat. I, I the- actually was shocked by the re- guys, you guys all reacted. I was shocked. I was, I, because it was my first time ever trying the song. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how it's going to land. It made me laugh. Yeah. So I, I only can run by if it makes me See, laugh. Yeah, it made me, but it was like, everybody shut up because usually comics chat in the back, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody shut the fuck up and they're like speechless. And then I see everybody pulling up the phones and trying to record it. It was like, wow, you know? And then I felt like, okay, comedy scene is supportive scene. You know, at that moment, yeah. like everybody just like supported you. I'm like, this is so fucking magical. That's why we do it. It was great. Yeah. Thank you. Like, I, I feel like the, the lines that make me laugh the most at the end, you mm-hmm. know, like I look in the mirror way more than I should. I'm ready for Hollywood. Oh, I'm ready for Hollywood, yeah. Consistently feeling I'm not very good. I'm ready for, for Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> but also like the sign when you're like, oh, I, I put my... What is it? Lululemon leggings and went hiking, and then like you saw producer and he, <laughs> he offered you to suck his dick or something. I was like, okay, this is so but, LA. <laughs> but but it's like it's very it's very like I don't really say that, but this is <laughs> a, a, a assumed. Yeah. That I I thought I should go network, and I wanted to do it right. Yeah. So I put on tight pair of yoga pants. Yoga pants. And yeah. I went on a hike. On a hike. Yeah. I met this guy, a producer. He said he would make me a star. And that all I needed to do was follow him to his car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood. I know what you're probably thinking. I'm not a slut. I'm just misunderstood. <laughs> I'm networking. But honey, you know, even like from, oh my God, maybe this is what I want to cover. A lot of music people want me to suck their dick. <laughs> Only music people? <laughs> I mean, comedy people too, but I mean, I was just trying to work on some jokes about that, like, you know, how um, I I do comedy because, like, music people want to have, music industry people want to have sex with you, and mm-hmm. comedy people um, want to have threesome, and I'm like, damn, I'm not a bring a show again. I'm bring a show. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work, but yeah, I mean... And then music industry people invite you to their place and comedy bookers come to your place because they don't even have a place. They don't have a place. <laughs> yeah, that's really true. But I didn't have, well, maybe once the comedy producer, a small, not, nobody big, expected yeah. something out of me, but I made it really clear. But I didn't have those bad experiences. Yeah. It, I think with television and film, it happens more often than the comedy because once you're funny, you're funny. They're going to book you regardless. Yeah. It's just nature. But what happens in comedy, what is funny, the second I start hanging out with like a comedy guy, with a comic, or a producer, just hanging out, being friends, everybody just assumes we're fucking. And this mm. is annoys me. Oh, yeah. I'm like, it doesn't work this way. Like, first of all, why would I fuck a comic? And, you know, and even if I would, I would not hide it. I would, you know. Openly fuck him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come w- watch. Come watch. Exactly. Just kidding. Put it just on, kidding. Uh, what is it? The OnlyFans. Yeah. Uh, but it just, people just assume that if I show up on the comedy show with another comic, they just assume, and if we leave together the show, they just assume we're fucking. Guys, let's clarify something. We can be friends with male comics and not fuck them. Exactly. Okay? We can. We can do that. We know, yeah. It's, it's, if we walk around with male comic, it's because he's trying to have sex with us. But it doesn't mean <laughs> exactly we are actually we are having sex, sex with, with Yeah. That's exactly He, it. and you know, you can't get mad at somebody trying because everyone got to try. Yep. Okay. It doesn't mean they're going to succeed. Yeah. It but, just means that they're but, trying. you know, I mean, for me, like, bitch better hunt if the bitch want to eat. <laughs> That's my song. That's what's up. <laughs> but then for guys, too, like, you got guys are hunters. They have to see if they can conquer a comic, a female comic. And, and if they can't, they get butt hurt and you don't see us with them anymore. And then they talk shit about us, maybe. And then, Yeah. <laughs> and then they ruin your reputation. So... The important thing is shut the fuck up and don't share too much. Yep, keep it to yourself. Yeah, yeah. just just be nice and and if somebody's trying to have sex with you, don't have sex with them unless you really want to. Yep. Then do, then do it openly. I'm sorry. Openly, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> it's advice to all female comics. Unsolic- who just unsolicited, unsolicited advice. I was gonna say something funny. I forgot it's something become- about. Um, music industry. People. Music industry trying to fuck you. Yeah, I I just learned that. It doesn't work. It. I mean, it's 
I it didn't. It's not that I learned that it's not gonna work if you, you know, m- trading sexual favors for like helping you in a music business. But I don't think they take you seriously. No, uh, I just noticed like for a man in the industry, if they hear no from you, they're like, oh shit, she's serious. She's not just a girl like looking for some TV credits. You know, she's a talent. So I feel like actually when you tell them no, they respect you. Oh, well, this one guy, um, I was, he, he was looking for unique acts and he's the legit music executive. Mm-hmm. And he came to my show and he was like, let's do business. And I was so excited. I thought, well, and especially he was like a music referral, like, I mean, referral from people that I know and like. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I felt like there's, there's, this is someone legit. Mm-hmm. And then next thing I know, he's FaceTiming me and asking me about the size of my bed. Oh. And I'm like... I'm like, really? Really? No. It's cheesy. And then I yeah. say, and I say no, and then that's it. I never heard from him again. Well, something better is going to come to you. I'm 100%. Sure. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's always it's, like that. But it's like, it's disappointing. Yeah. I hear you. But mm-hmm. it's, I feel like it's in any business. May I, like in any business, people try to take advantage, right? If they can. But I also feel like because we're nice, do we feel like sometimes men take it in the wrong way? Like, because you've, I mean, I'm nice to guys. Yeah. If I see comics, I'm nice, and I'm like, am I doing something wrong? I'm going to come off as flirty, and they take it as a green light that they can try to do something, or just men in general? I think it's men in general. Men in general. They would just try. Yeah. I mean, and also, kindness is kind of taken for weakness for some reason. Yeah. W- what true. a weird thing. I try to be so empathetic and understanding, but it's like, I don't know, somehow people don't respect that. I don't. But you know, at the same time, I'm thinking I am attracted to not. I'm not saying like producer there, but a man who's produced shit. It means he is smart, right? And if he's in in, in the entertainment industry, it means we have something to talk about. So I'm like, oh, I might be attracted to them. You know what I mean? Of course. Yeah. I mean, we we. I don't think we're gonna end up with like regular people. We need no, somebody we, interesting. Yeah, you can. Like, I can be with banker. Not because it, but because I'm gonna get bored. You yeah, know what I'm going to yeah. talk about with a banker. You know, I know nothing about numbers. I mean, you can talk about money. Money. His money. His <laughs> money. I'm talking about his money. <laughs> yeah, that's some, but it's still a little sphere of interest, you know. There's more to, to that than just money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are more to, to life than money. Yeah. And yeah I, I keep telling this to myself. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh-huh. There's more, no, money, happiness, success, projects. I know projects. What turns me on are projects. Like, like if what I know, kind of project? Like creative projects, like comedy projects, film projects, TV projects, reality projects. Like if I know I can work with a guy on a project together, yeah. I'm like, oh, that turns me on. Well, maybe uh, you need a good partner. Like yeah. You can work. I, I mean, you probably would mix personal and professional wor- yeah. world. And I mean, I mean, if you guys are partners and... It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I think it's I think it's, it's good. It all has to be in the family. In keep the fam- it in a fucking family. Keep it yeah. in a fucking family. family. <laughs> yeah, my parents grew up like, they always did kind of business together. Not all their lab, but they would do one project, then they would stop, then they would do something else. And for me, it's like, oh, that actually works. You know? What, what do your parents do? Well, my mom used to be, was it, now she's an artist. But uh, back then, she was a real estate broker. My father had a newspaper in Russia, and then he was a developer as well. So sometimes they would do projects together. He would build something, and she would sell it. You know? Mm-hmm. So there was like a partnership. Mm-hmm. And then my mom helped him with a newspaper because she's very creative. She's an artist. Like she would draw things for the newspaper and design it and he was pub- would publish it. So it was like always a cooperation mm-hmm. and different angles. So they would be good in different things. So they would complement each other. That's so, nice. So I feel like this is something that I would want, you know? Yes. And you will get yeah, it. And you will get it too. Thank you. Okay. What's your goal? What's your goal in comedy and what's your goal in music? And my co- my comedic goal is right now to, m- you know, my one hour ready for Hollywood. I wanna, uh, I wanna, how do you say? I'm sorry. Okay, so I wanna put 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 it up again, ready for Hollywood. So Xenia recorded and filmed, uh, ready yeah. for Hollywood. It's a tight one hour special. Yes, it's a music comedy that I went there it was brilliant and funny, Thank and you. it was like. It was so cool. You did it in a little theater, a small yes. theater. Uh, and uh, I felt it was very good. It was very unique because there's not that many musical comics nowadays. There Thank are some you, guys who play guitar, but there are only few. So I feel like your niche is small, uh, which is great. Yeah. So it means a higher chance. Of, so it was great. So what do you want to do with it? You want to? So I mean, I, I wrote three more songs for it, mm-hmm. and they're great. I'm okay. really proud of them. And just going to put it up again. And then I want to take it to festivals. festivals. I, I want to. 
this is on my to-do list to register cool. for Edinburgh Festival. Nice. Oh, you should. Oh my gosh, we should talk about it. Yes. Because uh, Sasha and Lobin wants to do it. I want to do it, and we can do it like. Well, let's go. We can do street us too. Oh my god. Okay, Sasha, I need to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, let's we go. Can, we can let's... do it. It's in August. We can start now. We have to reserve the theater. Yeah, let's do it. Yep. Okay. Are we doing guys to see us in it? Are we going to do it all in one theater? We can do it. It's going to be cheaper for us if we do it in one theater. Yeah. We just rent it for. That's what people do. They rent theaters for like a week or okay. small venues yeah. and then you have to promote on your own and but it, it's a project but it's doable yeah, yeah yeah. and people from industry are there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's a good thing so you want to do that what, what's your big goal like once you're going to know I in want, the company i want that on netflix netflix yes yeah, okay netflix, netflix people go and watch xenia special <laughs> yeah i do i do i do i do i do, I do. I feel you're gonna like get it you're gonna I, get it. I think it's I think it's, it's unique i think it's cool it's unique yeah it's very unique it's very heart opening and funny and it's about you so Ksenia has this gift she delivers the message of who he, she is through music and through <laughs> comedy that's what we, but it's a combination of both so it's very cool thank you so much yeah, yeah. so that's that's that and uh, for music I uh, I I've been having so much fun with raps I mean, my new song is out now it's called little dick guy it's about guys that put women down so he talks like he's some kind of rich guy, but he acts like a little whiny bitch guy. I don't want to smash now he's a pissed guy. Kind of sounds like a tiny little dick guy. Guys. Your dudes act like you never seen some titties. Little boy <laughs> move to the big city, pretending like you're busy. Down to the nitty gritty. It's obvious you're trying to make up for that itty bitty by making me feel shitty. You kiss your mama with that mouth. Big boy in the club, but you're sleeping on the couch. You drive your boys band so the girls want to meet you. Got the gold chain when you maxed out your visa. You're acting like you're already big, bro. Call me a gold digger, but you got nothing to dig for. Now, I don't want your broke ass, so I'm the bitch. I bet you're just mad because I ain't jumping on your dick. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you see all little dick guys' energy in Hollywood. Uh, everyone's everything. kind of offended, and Instagram not going to promote it because because of the tiny dick guy. Is they not going to promote I it? I try, try to do promotion. Promotion? They don't approve it? Oh, Instagram, you suck. But... Actually, in five days, it got like 11,000 streams on Spotify, which is good. It's which good. Which is like better than normal. Wow, that's better amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, because it's very, a lot of people can relate to that. I think yeah. when I do it live, people really like it. Yeah, because it's your, you bring your energy. Yeah. Okay, I always ask two questions. Like, what is, who is the one person in the industry that you want to keep forever around you? It could be anybody, manager, producer, comic, singer, somebody that you really like and you want to continue working your entire career with. Yeah, my music producer. Was, what's his name? Mario Marchetti. Okay, okay, let's like, promote him. Okay. This dude is so brilliant. His mind is brilliant. His sense of humor is matches mine perfectly. We we have same like I once I start my sentence, he finishes it. Nice. It's amazing. And That's we met on the street, honey. It's crazy. Into what, Southern Nine. Would you date him or he's married? No, no, he's dating a he's, girl. He's no, dating no, girl. No, 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 no it's just a professional, yeah. No, no, we are like, I feel like we are creative soulmates. Creative. That's amazing yeah. that you found yeah. him on the street. This on is like street. destiny exists. I, it, it does. I think so. It, uh, it feels like it was organized by high power. Yes, 100%. 100%. Yep, it was a match. Yeah. And who is the person, like up and comic, comic, singer, whoever, that you feel like a huge potential? Or who's going to... Made it. You think somebody like, you know, like you go to a lot of shows and mics. There's somebody who sticks out to you like, damn, this person's going to make it. Oh, a, few, a few people. I mean, what stage of development are they Any in? stage. Any stage of development. If it's few, let's name them. In a few years yeah. from now, we're going to be like, she was right. They made it. Well, I feel like Tehran is up. He's going to... Yeah, Tehran is up, yeah. I but feel like he's... He's going to make it. He's already on the way. I feel like he's well, halfway there. The question is, like, why is he not having Netflix special? Because he's more than ready. I know. He's going to be on my podcast because I want to ask him the same question. Oh, I yeah. feel like he's genius. He's yeah. funny. He's yes. lovable, huggable, yeah. yes. adorable, very professional. Yeah. And uh, he was in your music video. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the song? You're my kitty. You're my kitty. It's so awesome. He did such a great job. I know. He yeah. was great. And yeah, he should be. The, I think he's going to get it soon. Mm -hmm. Who else? I think Leo Lamar is Leo up. Leo Lamar, agree. Up, up for the big, big uh, mm -hmm. promotion. Big, big break. But she's already been killing it. Mm -hmm. Who else? 
I, uh, okay, well, I don't know. I, I, I want, I want the Russians, though. Honey. We need the Russians in the industry. Honey, you're, we make you're, you're me, Irina, Irina. and Nislobin. Nislobin. Can it's we just, can we it's just, horrible. can we just make it? We will. And, like, Yakov Smirnov. Oh, he's, he's already making it, but he will be back. I mean, I, I want, I want him in our, in our corner. Oh, he will he, be. He's yeah. actually. I'm having a call with him after this. Uh, he yeah. will be. He he's very happy that we're friends. Yes, he's, yes yeah, yes. and he's definitely in our Russian, Ukrainian, Eastern European corner. Yeah, yeah. He wants to be back, and he will be back. I just, I just also want the Russian to to have Russian perceived not like as like a spy in a movie or like a somebody and bad people and like yes yeah, some hookers and gold diggers. Mm -hmm. We actually a nice, kind, big-hearted people. Yep. that genuinely care about well-being of other people mm -hmm. and we are as real as, as it gets yeah we wear like hard on our sleeves yeah mm -hmm. if you and that's it i yeah. want to break all the stereotypes Make not you, all uh, russians are spies <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my other songs so, yeah and you see like it's i think it's so special that there is like oh there's a competition between I even hear from producers, like, if I ask advice, like, who should I book on my show? It's like, oh, don't book another Russian. I'm like, no, I want to book other Russians. Yeah. Because it's about rising together. It's not about, like, who's going to make it, who's not. We're all going to make it. This industry is huge. There's a platform for everybody. There's enough space for everybody. And we want to ra race together, right? We're going to become stars together. So that's our goal. Okay. I'm so happy to have you. Thank You're you, going to be back. Thank, Thank you. you for being Thank here. Thank you so much. Thank you, honey. I thank you. appreciate you. Go listen to the little dig guy. Yes, and don't be mad. Don't be mad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you, love. Okay. Love you. Thank you, honey. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Okay. We're done. We're done. Yeah, yeah. that was so fun.